In Red Dead Redemption 2, there are many unique weapons to discover, some of which, like the weapons in this video, are missable. You also can do these missions relatively early in the game, so there is a good chance that some of you have already missed them as well. And since they're unique weapons, unfortunately, there's no other way to get them once you miss them. The weapons I'm talking about are Flacco's Revolver, Granger's Revolver, and the Midnight Pistol, plus Calloway's Revolver as well, but that will be a separate video because there's a second part to the mission we're doing to get these weapons, and you can't do it till later in the game anyway. If you find this guy helpful, like and share, it is very much appreciated. Now to get all of these weapons, we're just going to do one mission. The mission to find these guns is started in Chapter 2. It's a stranger mission given to you by Theodore Levin, who sits in Keen's saloon in Valentine. Talk to him and he will give you four photos and a camera to start the mission. Open up your satchel and examine one of the photos, flip it over and read, and once you exit into the main menu, a new location will be added to your map with a gunslinger on it. Repeat this step for all four photos and you can add the location of all four different gunslingers to your map. We'll start with the first one, Emmett Granger. After reading his photo, head to the location on the map, a small homestead directly east of Flatneck Station. Talk to him and help him clear up the manure. After the cutscenes, I'm not going to show you this all because I don't want to spoil it too much, you can place dynamite in the manure pile, which will lead to the inevitable duel with him. After he is dead, you can pick up his revolver. And guys, I have a separate video on how to duel and win, or some of you are having bugs where dueling is not working. You can check out that video if you want help. But once he's dead, make sure to pick up his weapon. This is the part where it's missable. If you leave the area without picking up his gun, it will disappear forever. So make sure you pick it up straight away. A rare cattleman revolver with a dark metal finish and covered in custom engravings, previously owned by the late gunslinger Emmett Granger. Defeated in a duel near Flatneck Station, this gun has an ammo capacity of 6 rounds and can use regular, high velocity, split point, express and explosive revolver ammo. Don't forget to take a picture of his whole body and then you can move on to the next person. Next up is Billy Midnight. Head over to his marker on the map at the Rhodes train station. You can speak to the clerk about Billy, then wait for the train. Billy is located all the way at the back of the train, head there and talk to him and give chase until you reach the top of the train, at which point again you will duel with him. After he's dead, you can pick up the unique pistol, the Midnight Pistol. A rare Mauser pistol, this weapon features gold plated engravings and a black wooden grip. Previously owned by the late gunslinger Billy Midnight, defeated in a duel on a train, departing roads, this gun has an ammo capacity of 10 rounds and can use regular, high velocity, split point express and explosive pistol ammo. Next guys, I'm going to do the next gunslinger, which is Black Bell. You don't actually have to kill her, and you don't actually get a weapon from this part of the mission, but you still need to take a picture of her to complete the mission, so we're going to do this next, since if you stay on the train after killing Billy, it takes you right to her. So just follow around the map, help her out, take a picture of her, and then you can move on to the final person, which is Flaco Hernandez. He is hiding out in Cairn Lake, a short distance to the southeast of Coulter. It's pretty far from where your last location was, so it's going to take you a while to travel there. But once you're at his camp, it's guarded, so you can either threaten his men to let you through, or you can simply kill them if you prefer, that's what I did. And Flacco himself is hiding inside of a shack. Call him out with your weapon holster to get him to come out of his shack, and then you can now duel to get his weapon once he's dead. A rare cattleman revolver featuring delicate engravings and carved ivory handle, previously owned by the late gunslinger Flacco Hernandez. Defeated in a duel at Cairn Lake, this gun has an ammo capacity of 6 rounds and can use regular, high velocity, split point express and explosive revolver ammo. So guys, that is the location of the three gunslinger revolvers that are missable in the game if you don't pick them up during this mission. There's one more to get that is missable and that is a revolver you get from Slim Grant, but I will show you how to get that in a different video because you can't start that until you finish a mission in Chapter 4. And that weapon is one of my favourite weapons actually, it's the Callaway's revolver. For stats and all the weapons in the video, they all have high fire rate, accuracy and reload speed. The difference between the revolvers and the pistol is, the pistol has slightly less damage and a slightly higher fire rate to make up for that. Like all unique weapons in game, the only difference between them and other weapons is the type in the way they look. I personally feel like unique weapons should have had special stats or effects, but they don't unfortunately. But guys, that is it for this video. If you want to see a video on how to duel and win, how to duel and disarm as well, and also how to fix your game if you're having a bug with dueling and it's not working, check out that video which will be out soon. Look at my channel for all the unique weapon locations, subscribe for more weapon and combat guides on Red Dead and Red Dead Online updates. Enjoy the rest of your day guys, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.